uh, a Muslim asking question, Joe, Joe, your ram. Are you a Muslim? Why you don't call me, my friend? Call me and let us see if it is, uh, you know. Here, yeah, this uh, Muslim, I'm assuming he's a Muslim. He is saying, Trinity actually is a strongly confusing question. Before everything was created, who was in the will of whom father obeyed son or son obeyed father? We know Holy Spirit come from the father. I don't know, you know, my friend, you are so smart. But let me show you that you are not obviously uh, uh, suitable to get married. Because when the Christian, they say the son, obviously the son is born of the father. So you are asking me which one first? So why we call him the son? Like I'm going with your level of intelligence. So there is someone we call him the son and someone we call him the father. Who is it from who? In your intelligence, this is confusing. Hmm. Did the son come from the father or the father come from the son? Don't say that to your wife. She will throw you from the window and she will tell you, you know what? Your kids is not yours. Those are from the neighbors. Or in the best scenario, the one who was doing the plumbing yesterday. And where I got those customers from? Look, this, look at the logic. You know, this guy is deep thinker. He, like, he put, a, he put a, a nail in the coffin, brother. I advise you not to think much. You are hurting yourself. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Anyone who knows how the Christian they pray and what they believe, in a second they will understand that we believe that he is born of the Father. That's it. Very simple. And the Father is where the authority of the Messiah is coming from. That's it. Very simple. Do we have any Muhammadan? No, there is no question in the question. The question is, is, a, is a, you know, have a lack of intellect. Will that negate the Trinity then God is the, is the Father? Yes, God is the Father and God is the Son because the Son is born of the Father and He is the same as the Father in everything He has. Divine is give divine. Divine is always divine. So if God let us say he decided not to be three, he decided to be a billion. Still, there is a billion person, the same God. He decided to make himself a multiple person. If this is impossible for you, that means you do not know what God means. God means someone who can do what is impossible. If you do only what is possible, that means he is not God. As an example, there's many things I can do. God can do too. Yeah, as an example, I can go and uh, carry that rock. And God can move that rock too. Yeah. Does that mean I'm God? No. I cannot create a rock. So when we say God, we are saying about what is impossible is possible for him. And the stupid you trying to make what is impossible always not possible. But you forgot we are talking about God. The second we say God, we are talking about impossible is very easy possible for him. So all your logic is a stupid because you are, you know, using what is possible. But God is not about what is possible. In fact, he is God because he can do what is impossible, not because he do what is possible. Otherwise, why would call him God? And that's why we call him almighty. That's why we call him uh, 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 divine. That's why we call him eternal. That's why we call him, because all of those things is impossible for me. There is no son without the father, but not the father without, eh, this is stupid, you know, the chicken and the egg first. The father, the father is where the son is born of, not the opposite. So, we, you can say, oh, there is no son without the father. You can say that, who care? Still, the father is our God. The son is exist, is our God. If he doesn't exist, he doesn't exist. Very silly. 
This exists. <laughs> so we believe in him and we accept him for his existence, not because he's an idea. You are trying to make the topic of God a topic of philosophy. Philosophy is something silly, especially when you try to discuss about God. Because all philosophy based on logic and nothing logical about God. What is make it possible? Because it is God and God here do miracles. So anytime we speak about God, we are talking about a miracle and he is a miracle and he do miracles. And you are trying to measure miracles by your own measurement. 